Okay, lovey, what do we have today? What significant events can cause a positive change in you as a person? Oh, there's a, a numberable. It's really, I'm not sure we can actually count how many events can cause a significant change. I think whether it's trauma or success. Positive change. Yeah, but trauma can cause positive change. It can. It can. It can force you to confront part of yourselves that need to be need to be adapted. And so it's, you know, the world isn't <laughs> isn't a straight line. You know, we've talked about how life comes at you fast, throws you curveballs and screwballs all the time. And well, it's true, and you never know. You know, sometimes hitting rock bottom is what causes you to stand up and turn yourselves, turn your life around. You know, I think lots of people who are alcoholics have have to face that issue. I mean, you know, maybe you can talk about that a little bit. But you know, whether it's trauma, whether it's success whether it's a, a death of a friend or a loved one or, or something, you know, maybe it's just part of life, but it forces you to confront something that you have ignored. You know, there's a, there's a litany of events that can cause you to have a dive into your introspection it can force you to look in the mirror and truly examine. Who you are. Becoming a parent is a major one. Yes getting married, becoming a parent, falling in love for the first time, trying to chase the person who you love, trying to make yourself a better person so they'll accept you, so they want you. Um, now it can go the other way too. All these things, that's the other thing. All these things can go the other way. There's, it's not a clear cut thing. You know, something success can make you, you know, become arrogant and yeah. right. So yeah. there's not a, it, you know, these things are all double-edged swords. So you have to be very careful. It's whether these, whether any event, be it tragedy or success or, or, or a baby or a marriage, whatever it is, any event, if you do it without thought, without careful consideration, without introspection, then it has a tendency to lead down a dark path. But if you're mindful, if you're careful, if you genuinely consider your actions and consider the type of human being you want to be, it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. It doesn't mean you're going to hit your, your ideals, but at least if you have something to aim at, then you're more likely to get close to it. And I think that is your daily dose of love.